Today, all of us are aware that the Earth is round, it rotates about its axis, and revolves around the Sun. According to science, this theory was given by Nicholas Copernicus, but very few people know that about 1000 years before Copernicus, an Indian astronomer, Aryabhat, had made this discovery. Aryabhat is among great astronomers and mathematicians of ancient times. He was born in 476 AD. According to a belief, it is said that during the times of Lord Buddha, some people of the Ashmaka kingdom settled in central India, somewhere between the Narmada and the Godavari river, and Aryabhat was also born at this place. According to another belief, he is said to have been born in Kusumpur, located near Patliputra. Historians do not have enough information regarding his education, but according to a belief, in the last days of the Gupta Empire, he was associated with the Nalanda University. Even today, people consider the Gupta period as the golden age of India. At that time, India made unprecedented progress in the fields of literature, art, and science. It is said that Nalanda University was located in Magadh and was a major and famous center of imparting knowledge. Students from all over the country and abroad used to come here to acquire knowledge. In Nalanda University, there was a special department for the study of astronomy. According to an ancient verse, Aryabhat was also the chancellor of Nalanda University. Aryabhat said that the earth is round, and it rotates about its axis, and it is the reason why day and night exist. Many superstitions were challenged by him, and he presented many scientific reasons to prove them wrong. According to a Hindu belief, solar eclipses or lunar eclipses occur due to the swallowing of the sun or the moon by a planet called Rahu. Aryabhat proved this notion wrong, and he described solar and lunar eclipses scientifically. He explained that the moon and other planets shine, because they reflect the light from sun, and in fact, they don't have light of their own. Aryabhat also clarified that eclipses are either a shadow falling on the earth, or a shadow of the earth itself. Aryabhat found out the exact time for one rotation and one revolution of the earth. Rotating on its axis, it completes its rotation not in 24 hours, but in 23 hours, 56 minutes and 4.1 seconds. Thus, in our one year, there are 365 days, 6 hours, 12 minutes, and 30 seconds. In mathematics, his contribution cannot be ignored, because it was Aryabhat who accurately estimated the value of pi. He also discovered correct formulas for calculating the area of triangles and circles. He also played a very important role in the formation of the Table of Signs. Aryabhat played an important role in determining the place value system and discovery of zero. He was the first person to use zero in the place value system. Aryabhat wrote many books in his life, like Aryabhatiya, Dashkitika, Tantra, and Aryabhat Siddhanta. He has had a deep influence on the mathematics and astrology theory of India and the world. The astronomical calculations and projections suggested by Aryabhat have been given special status even today, because during his time, there were no modern instruments or equipment. He had an extremely sharp mind, and through his dedication and hard work, the contribution he made in unraveling various mysteries of the solar system is truly commendable.